it's your boy Gary B, Latin Grammy Award winner, and you are now tuned into Behind the Mix. Session calls me. All right, boom. All right, you need how many hours? It's usually a twelve. So all right, boom. You're booking me for the whole day. I'll give them the set price. You know what I'm saying? I'll call the studio. Be like, all right, I have this client coming for this hours. You know what I'm saying? They want to book on this day. All right. As soon as I get to the studio, the intern has everything set up, mic set up. You know what I'm saying? He open up Pro Tools for me. Um, or like at Circle House, they'll have the you know what I'm saying, the little iced tea and lemonade, right. which is the best in Miami. Right. <laughs> um, and um, I'll just take it from there. If I ever need anything, he's right there to you know what I'm saying to assist me. If I need cables, if I need whatever, he's just there. He'll patch up, he'll patch up the the mic pre and compressor for me. That's what I, you know what I'm saying. I usually rock with. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Now, were you doing production prior to becoming an engineer, or did you start actually? Actually, I came in here thinking I wanted to be a producer, um, a songwriter, an artist, and an engineer, so I can do all my own crap. Right. But um, as soon as I got here, man, I just fell in love with manipulating sound and and and, and doing certain things that you know what I'm saying you wouldn't even be able to think of doing. And that's why I started following my engineer path, and it was taking me far. So I was like, hey, this is this is for me. Right. Because you know what I'm saying I've been doing music for my whole life, it was just elementary school. Played trumpet for like 10 years. Um, and I don't know, I just felt like, you know, I needed another angle. Right. So that, this engineering thing was my angle. Yeah. Your limiter, is it after, after your compressor? Is that for volume or is that just kind of like to keep things in check? Um, it's a little bit of both. Like, like if you're printing, if you're gonna print. Yeah. It's a little bit of both. So my, my chain on the master bus is always Compressor, EQ, then limiter. So you're compressing first, going through the EQ, then and then, limiter. And then limiter, because then the limiter, the limit, one brings up whatever I'm EQing. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? And it levels out the rest of my song. Gotcha. So, so yeah, I use them for, for volume. So nothing on the print track? Yeah, I mean, it's going to the print track. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because okay. yeah, I, I don't like, I don't use a master fader in Pro Tools. I use an aux as my master fader, or as my stereo bus. Have you ever walked into a studio that doesn't have the tools that you need to, you know, just make it easier for yourself? And what are some of the ways that you just get around it? Um, if they don't have the certain tools that I, that I need, I definitely ask before I would step into, right, before I even go to the studio. But what do you guys, you know what I'm saying, what do you guys got? If I don't know it, you know? Um, and if I don't have what I need, then I'll bring my own rack. And I'll bring my own stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, like your own compressors or what? My own preamp, my own compressor, my own mic. Even if I have to record on my laptop. Let's talk about that Grammy experience, man. <laughs> <laughs> Getting that Grammy felt like what? Honestly, it's, it was a weird feeling because I was just chilling in my bedroom, you know what I'm saying? Just chilling. And, um, I got a phone call from uh, from a friend of mine that worked in the label with me. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yo, you know, you want a Grammy? And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what are you talking about? You lying, bro. <laughs> you, you gotta be lying to me. You know, they had all the Latin records that are out, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, what are you talking about? And it's like, nah, man, turn on the TV, man. You look, you're gonna see Mafia right there, you know what I'm saying? With, with, with Fonseca, with the, with the Grammy and everything. I was like, what? Right. So, I mean, it was definitely breathtaking. I felt like, I feel like, wow, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is real, this is real. And you know, the hard work worth it. And, and after only, only being in the industry for like two years, I was like, you know, this I can accomplish this in two years, imagine what else I'm gonna accomplish in the next 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. And bro, like, bro, you can, you can leave out of here tomorrow and do a record with somebody and it'll just take off, bro. It'll just take off. 